People in Boulder and Larimer counties are beginning to pick up the pieces after the front range floods, but many people may not have flood insurance. So what do you need to know about flood uh, damage and your insurance? Carol Walker from the Rocky Mountain Insurance Information Association is here with more. And let, let's talk about that a little bit because it's confusing. It is confusing. I, I was confused just by the whole process, just the conversation we were just having. So talk about if your mortgage, if flood insurance was required for you to get your house. So people really need to understand, unfortunately, this is a heartbreaking wake-up call that many people don't buy flood insurance. They either think it's covered under their standard homeowner's business, renter's insurance policy for all their stuff, or they think it's too expensive, especially if they're in a high-risk area. Sure. If your mortgage does require flood insurance, then people likely have purchased it. However, all your mortgage lender is concerned about is your building. And when it comes to flood insurance, there's a separate policy for your building to repair and rebuild that structure, and then for all your stuff, your personal personal items. And then things like additional living expenses that are under standard homeowners policy, that's something that isn't covered by flood insurance. That's why we have seen the federal government step in and declare a number of counties for individual assistance, including Boulder, Larimer, Adams, and Weld County. As they do these assessments, Ken, sure. hopefully there's going to be some more individual assistance from the federal government as well for those people who are uninsured. So for the people out there that, that can hear the sound of your voice, where, <laughs> where, where do they go? What's the first step? If they have flood insurance or even, you know, they're not they sure not whether know. they're covered or not, yeah. then do call your agent or your company representative. They'll be able to help you and say, because you've still purchased that policy likely through them or you've purchased directly from the National Flood Insurance Program, which to understand that flood insurance is separate, it's actually a separate federally backed program. It's an arm of FEMA through the National Flood Insurance Program, so okay. that's what that policy is through. Again, you're, you're telling me that you might have it on your house, but all your belongings, if you didn't purchase it separately, you don't have that same kind of coverage. Uh, a lot of cars swamped out and flooded. What can you tell? What can you talk about? flood insurance for automobiles. Well, the good news for there is if you've bought optional comprehensive coverage under your car insurance, and many people in Colorado carry it because it covers you for hail, which is our most common disaster, sure. flooding, windshield damage. So uh, many people do have comprehensive. Get in touch with your company or agent right away. Get it into the repair shop. A lot of times with flood damage, you don't realize that you've had it, but when that water goes up above the wheel wells, you could have a total loss to that vehicle because of electrical damage to that vehicle. Boy, a lot of questions. Yeah. Carol, and we, we have tons of resources, it. though. You know, our website, also floodsmart.gov, which is the FEMA website. Tons of information there as well. So we're going to try to help people get through all this. Fantastic. They'll appreciate it. Carol Walker from the Rocky Mountain Insurance Information Association. Good information. I know a lot of people are going to have these questions. And Carol, we appreciate you coming in to talk about it. Well, thanks for getting the word out.